I'm the biggest boss that you've seen thus far. Hey what's up guys, it's this guy 4 here with my video review on the Transformers Animated Leader Class Ultra Magnus figure. He finally came in the mail ever since, or my parents actually ordered him back like during August 15th according to the receipt that I received. But um, he finally came this past Friday which was the 19th so it took about a month to ship out since it was a pre-order. Sorry, I was kind of blinking out because I was... Distracted by my turtle, which bit my other turtle's foot. He will be punished later. <laughs> but yeah, so, finally came. And I'd like to thank my 600 subscribers for subscribing. Um, I'm not going to be making subscriber messages because, one, it's a hassle. Two, people don't care to watch them that much. And three, it kind of upsets other people. So, what's the point? It's a big, it's a big mess. Second, or the next thing I... So yeah, thanks to my subscribers. Gracias por su suscripción. According to my translations given to me by my Spanish teacher. And so the last thing I'd like to mention before I start the review is one of my family members confronted me and said, your reviews are kind of boring, you're not very funny. Oh yeah? Well, I happen to think that I am super funny. So on to the review. I for size comparison here we have movie prime obviously and as you can tell hopefully unless you're like I won't even say it but as you can tell Optimus is obviously longer which is kinda weird because this guy Optimus is just a diesel truck or something like that a Peterbilt truck and Ultra Magnus is actually some type of mil futuristic military vehicle so shouldn't this guy be a lot, lot longer or bigger? I know that Night Slash pointed that out in his review, so I thought I might as well mention it too. So yeah. His color scheme is basically all blue with some touches of silver. Here you have some light blue feature on the front of the cab right here and on the side. And on these panels right here, which is the same on the other side as well. Right there. And on these little panels right here that kind of look like feet, but they're not. Even kind of look like wishbones, but they're not, obviously. But yeah, those pieces are light blue. It's It seems to upset people like Vault Matrix in episode 144 of the TFYR podcast, where he complains that Ultra Magnus is light blue instead of white. Big deal, dude. I mean, it's just... What is it? like? It's barely different, so... And it still looks good, so I don't get why he's all complaining, but whatever. Then he has some dark blue featured on the side of the vehicle right here, all over, and on these cannons right here. And on the middle middle section of the hammer. And on the tail lights around here. And back here. Then you have some kind of neonish blue right there. And right here. Along with some translucent turquoise plastic featured on this hammer right here. And on the tips of the cannons right there. <clears throat> then you have some silver headlights along, or silver panels around the headlights, and the headlights are actually yellow. Black black windshield and black side windows along with black tires. A red little button right there, which I'll get to soon. Silver panels right there. Silver gas tank right there. And that's the same case on the other side of the vehicle. So that's basically it for his color scheme. I mean, he does have those black panels up there, but... Is that really worth worth mentioning? I guess it is. So, this is him in his basic mode. He does have a super mode, which I'm, I don't really care for. Well, it's kind of cool, but I just don't like displaying him in his super mode if this guy is ever in his alternate mode. So, you'd start it off by just grabbing this lever right here, lifting it up, and lifting it out. And doing the same on the other side. Show you the view from the front. Bada bam and bing bing there it is but yeah that's what those cannons look like when they're in super mode the next thing you can go ahead and do is lift down this front portion of the cab and fold them like so 
like so, like so, like that, like that, like this, like this. Then, if that's not enough, you can go ahead and grab this lever up here, fold those little guns out, and then, I, actually, I guess that looks kind of cool on camera right there. But when you're actually playing with this guy, in when he's in your hands, it's not as cool looking as it is right here. <coughs> then, if that's not enough, I mean, you can even fold out his headlights right here. Which I really hate the concept of this. It's just like really lame. So I never take these things out unless like there's a reason to. So yeah, there it is. There he There he is fully in his super mode. I mean it is it is kinda cool, I guess, for some people who dig this kind of thing, but I think those headlights are a bit much. I mean they're turrets that fold out of his headlights. Come on, Hasbro, come on. But yeah, that's it. Then you can go out and press this red button, and you get those neat little lights, which are yellow. So yeah, go ahead and fold this guy back into his basic mode, like this, like this, like this, just like that. And then fold that back up, push these back down. And there you have Magnus back in his basic mode. So overall, I rate this mode a definite 9.5 out of 10. I mean, it's, it can't be perfect. I mean, it's pretty hard to find a perfect alternate mode. Or, I mean, a perfect transformer in general. So yeah, I'll just give this guy a 9.5 out of 10. Which means he's totally, 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 totally awesome. So I'd go get him when he comes out in your area. So, I'll just get to the transformation. The first thing you'll go ahead and do is grab this hammer out of the back portion of the vehicle, like that. And then I accidentally activated his automorph, which I'll, which I'll show you later. Put that to the side. Fold those, no, not yet. Not yet, this guy for. You go ahead and fold those up like that. And fold up this cannon, just like that. Then we're going to fold this panel like that, and this one like that. Fold this forward, fold this back, and that but that panel will actually cover the red button. So can't press it right now. Sorry. Go ahead and take this panel, which kind of popped off. Usually it would be snapped in, so you'll just like pull it down and fold it back like that. Maybe I can show you on the other side. Yes, I can. So you'll go ahead and grab this back bottom section like that. It'll pop off. Then you'll fold that backwards. Go ahead and grab the leg right here. Separate it like that. Just like that. Then you'll go ahead and grab the leg right here. Fold it out like that. And do the same on the other side. Then you can go inside of his legs and fold out his feet. Just like this. And then fold it back until it snaps in place like this. And then you can go ahead and grab these tires right here. And it's on this type of joint where you fold it like so. You kind of detach it from this portion right here. Just by kind of wiggling it out. Just like that. And then you'll go ahead and fold it like this. So that it folds in this manner. Then it, that will snap into the side of the leg. Just like this. There it is. Do the same on this side. Pretty easy. This thing keeps popping off. It's really making me mad. But I'll show you that later. Go ahead and fold that like this. It's pretty hard right now. There it is. Okay, so there we have Ultra Magnus standing. His kneecap falls off once again. Just pop that back on. Yeah, it's taking a lot more force than it should. Okay, there it is. Whew. Okay. There you have the bottom section of Magnus fully transformed. Oh, yeah. Actually, you can fold these back like so. F or fold them down, not back. Oh, no. Okay, so... We'll get to the top portion of Magnus. The first thing we'll go ahead and do is separate this section right here. Like that. Fold it down. Then you'll go ahead and fold out his arms like that. Fold these arms like that. To 
until the snapping face. Then you hear a transforming noise. Do the same on this side. And fold his arm forward like that. And if you hear me kind of sniffing or if I sound kind of nasally in this review, it's because for some reason I have this really stuffy nose, so whatever. Just thought I'd warn you. Then we'll just put these cannons down like this for just for now, just so they're out of the way for the transformation. Then the next thing we'll go ahead and do is grab these shoulder pads, uh, like I, as I call them, right here, and lift them up kind of by wiggling them. And then you'll, I can't really explain how to do it, but you'll know when to stop. I mean, when it's about that high, that's when you'll stop right there. Right there, right there. We'll do the same on this side. It's pretty difficult. I'm surprised it's, I'm able to do this on camera. There it is. And there you have Magnus fully transformed, I hope. Pull these panels back. Okay. Oh no. Get the figure situated. And there you have it. There is Magnus. Magnus is there. Is Magnus there? Is there Magnus? But yeah. There he is. So obviously he Magnus is or Ultra Magnus is the leader of the Elite Guard. He, as his box describes, he's actually the oldest Autobot alive, even older than Ratchet, which is pretty old. Then, Ultra Magnus is, he was a crucial part in driving the Decepticons away from Cybertron and out of out of the universe or something like that. So yeah, this, this guy is just a great soldier, similar to his G1 counterpart. This guy is very strong, and he's he's the biggest boss that you've seen this far. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Now, I can't figure this out if there's some way to fold his arms so that there isn't that gap right there. But I'm guessing there's not. I mean, I looked at the directions a few times. I hardly ever look at directions, but yeah. I couldn't figure it out, so sorry if it's mistransformed or whatever. But that's very close to how it's supposed to look, I'm guessing. Or, I'm not guessing, I know. So, there you have Magnus. I mean... People haven't really complained about this yet. I'm guessing that's because most people don't have this toy yet. But his arms are actually located all the way back there. Similar to the G1 Titanium Ultra Magnus figure. But I mean, it's hardly noticeable on this guy. So it's pretty cool too. It doesn't really matter. If you can see this guy is pretty wobbly. That's because he had to situate his feet so that they're perfectly even. So that he stands up straight. Whatever. So I'll just get to his lights and sounds. Here we have it. They're not as easy to utilize as Megatrons or Bulkheads, but I'll do my best. So, you actually had to push this in pretty deep. So, you'll press his Elite Guard symbol, which is pretty awesome. You'll push it in as far as you can. We must return the old spark to Cybertron. So, as you saw, his eyes actually lit up green. His cannons also light up yellow, and his Autobot symbol lights up, I believe, red. We'll just do that again. Okay, so yeah, his, I said Autobot, but I meant Elite Guard Symbol lights up red, his cannons light up yellow, and his eyes light up green. And this is the general motion of his face when he speaks. So his mouth moves and his eyebrow kind of lifts. Yeah. So there he's looking pretty sick. We'll zoom out real quick. So, I won't really go over his articulation because it's pretty basic. This is a pretty solid figure, so, yeah. I'll just show you a real quick size comparison to Megatron. And as you can tell, Ultra Magnus is obvious, obviously taller, thankfully, because this guy is the biggest boss that you've seen this far, literally. So, yeah. Thank goodness. The next size comparison I'll show you real quick is Bulkhead. Leader Bulkhead, obviously. As you can see there. 
And if Megatron is shorter than Ultra Magnus, you can automatically assume that Bulkhead is shorter than Magnus as well. So yeah, there you go. It's a fist chest. So, and I guess as a last size comparison, since they are the same character, might as well show you the best figure ever, in my opinion. Because he's so sick. Titanium 6 inch Ultra Magnus, the G1 replica. As you can tell, this Titanium Ultra Magnus figure only goes up to Ultra Magnus's crotch. And that was my segue to my reference to TF Wire. TF Wire. They're all about the crotch thrust. There you go, there you go. Yeah, that's episode 144 once again. I believe Ryan mentions that. So yeah, go check it out if you haven't already. It's pretty funny. So one other thing you can do is you can go up and grab these cans right here. Grab the can in the back and fold it up like that. And there you have Ultra Magnus with big butt cannons. And then you can go ahead and press that elite guard symbol. And you get this pretty neat light up gimmick. Gimmick. Do that once more so you can see. Ultra Magnus here. Pretty sick, right? Pretty sick, pretty sick, pretty sick. So, yeah. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting anything. I don't know if you want to see the box or not. So, I won't. I don't. Actually, I'll show it just real quick. Just real quick. Just real quick. So. Here you have the box. They have Ultra Magnus in his robot form, in his vehicle form, his galactic powers and abilities, character description, headshot, headshot, your name, Autobot symbol, which should have been an elite guard symbol, that would have been sick. And his galactic powers and abilities, I guess I'll read to you, they are, carry several experimental weapons, mass hammer also controls local weather, even older than Autobot Ratchet, and that hammer just reminded me to show you his hammer. Okay, so featured figures. Elite guard people, not Autobot. Then a super sweet character action shot right there. Headshot. Transformers animated. Try me. And that's basically it. It's all the basic stuff. Here you have his character shot right there. Looking pretty sweet. He is the biggest boss that you've seen this far. So go out and get him. It's a pretty big box. I kept it in perfect condition just so I can keep the box because it's so awesome. So yeah. Once again, I forgot about his hammer, so I'll just show you that real quick. So for his hammer, you can go ahead and fold out this portion like that and lift up on the hammer just like this. And that will pop out his hammer so it's bigger but I usually just keep it like that because when you place it in his hand using a hole in his hand and this rectangular tab it just looks better when it's not extended so I'll be right back okay so there you have Ultra Magnus with his hammer in his hand obviously it wouldn't be in his mouth or whatnot <laughs> but yeah I mean it looks better when that hammer isn't extended and the hammer looks pretty sick. I mean, he holds it from, he holds it like in the middle of the staff, but that doesn't really matter to me. It still looks pretty cool. And there's a way to get it so that he holds it closer to the bottom, but I really didn't search it up because I'm not going to bother even trying that. But yeah, he still looks awesome, so yeah. Yeah, once again, yeah, yeah, yeah. So overall, I rate this mode a definite... I'm just gonna go ahead and say it 10 out of 10 because it's totally awesome. So go pick up this figure. He's totally worth it. He's in my he well he's not the best, but he's my favorite animated leader class figure. I'm guess I'd say that Megatron is the best one, but this is definitely my favorite. Ignore that he's not colored white. He, instead, he's colored light blue. It's not a big deal. Bought Matrix, so yeah. Go out and get him if you can find him. I don't know if he's out yet, but he should be coming out soon. Thanks for watching, and check out UniverseTF.com.